Is there a right way or a wrong way to ship shoes on Poshmark? The answer is yes. There, there definitely is a right way and there's definitely a wrong way and some of y'all are doing it wrong. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Holland here from where the helicopter pair meets the Papa Bear. It's the helicopter bear and if you're new here, hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, do all do all of that. And guys, um, anyone who subscribes to my channel, I'm running a little contest that, you know, you all you have to do is subscribe and I can see the analytics if you subscribe. And one lucky person is gonna get these. These are Air Jordan Retro 5s. The comps on them, phenomenal, like, just phenomenal. So hit that like, subscribe, but let's get into the video. To me, there's two different people when it comes to shipping anything shipping shoes on Poshmark you have the people that we all, we all love that sometimes they're they're a little bit extra that their their packaging is is you know custom they they do stickers and put an extra note and do this and all of that and you, you open your package and it's kind of like oh this is this is really really nice and then you have those people that they basically just take a they just have a box and the box could be like a, a used box and they just take the shoes or item and just like throw it in there wrap it around and then take it to the post office and like here you go also guys super sorry my voice is like super squeaking right now and also there's a dog in the back which is really annoying because we're a dog sitting and yeah so I have like a lot of dogs in the backyard and it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. But so let's, let's get back into, um, into this video. I kind of like to be in, I find myself in between that. I don't go super extra on whenever I'm shipping, but I'm not just going to dump stuff in a box and I'm going to show you like a live, you know, live experience of how I package my stuff. So today I sold these are Michael Kors. What's the name? Michael Kors Darcy Denim as as Espondrils. Espond I've been you know I've been selling shoes for almost a year, and sometimes I still don't know how to pronounce them. So and that's okay. That is okay. And right now my voice is is you know like it's cracking and it sounds like I'm going through puberty. But let's get on. So we have these shoes. So step number one is make sure your shoes are clean. Guys, do not be that person who sells dirty ass shoes. Like, don't do that. No, 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 no. Make sure your shoes are clean to the best of your ability. If you can't properly clean them, then don't sell them. That's that's how I see it. So um, first things first, I have these bags and I'm gonna put a link below to uh, my Amazon ish that where I get them and stuff um I think I paid I forgot what the price was it might be like 40 50 bucks but it was for a thousand of them so I am not gonna run out anytime soon they're pretty awesome because they have this little this this thing right here so basically, it's like super nice and, you know, sticky. Um, that's what she said. But um, whenever I'm packaging, and these these honestly fit for a lot of different types of shoes, apart from like boots and stuff. I mean, as you can even see, they fit, you know, with these Jordans and these are size 10 and a half. So we put them in like so. right here see it already looks really really nice just shipping them in this but what I also did was I designed because I am a graphic designer and I designed myself a little card um, to print them out for I think 250 little business card thingies at uh, FedEx was like 10 bucks so I designed it um, if you're not a graphic designer which you know I don't know I don't know your life go on Canva do something and mine just says you're the posh and best thanks for shopping at my store the helicopter bear and I have a QR code um, that goes along with it and this is to help 
me keep you know retention people coming back to my store because they're like oh i really liked you know dealing with him what was his name what was his store again bam or they can throw it in the trash that's that's you know that's that's the cost of business so pretty much this is how i i package things so let us voila looks nice it's not super extra but it's like hey this is pretty pretty cool um god my voice is cracking so hard so whenever it comes to also shipping shoes specifically not clothes because remember guys i dab into clothes here and there but i'm mostly shoes most of the time you're only going to need two types of boxes and first type is this one. Oh, i hit the camera but first type is this one and it's the large flat rate box you this is free you can literally just go into the post office and you see the shelves and you can just pick as many as you want i use these whenever it comes for the bigger type of shoes like boots and stuff like that um but mainly my go-to is this box this box is the medium flat rate box and the cool thing about this box is it actually has the little sticky part right here and for most shoes most shoes like like 90 percent of shoes that you're probably gonna sell is literally gonna fit in here and um i usually like the medium because sometimes even if i have kids shoes i just put them in here because i'm like hey cool 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 so all you have to do is get it bam so right here and then what i do because you know this is nice sealed up tight i just put this in here so the next thing i do uh is i print out my label and for me i have I'll, I'll put the type of label printer that i have down um it's kind of hooked up because i have so many cords and stuff but it's it's right here and you know paper and stuff and i actually uh i'll make a tutorial on how i get all these free supplies because like the the label paper and everything completely free but um i have the settings and everything set so i'm gonna go because you know whenever you sell something on poshmark they automatically send the the label to your um to your email and you're gonna have to go into the app and actually set it so that it's i think these are like four by sixes but you can go into the app and actually set it so that it prints on the standard label so i'm going in and i'm going to print print this and print voila it's right here nice print has your barcode has everything all i have to do is take this off where did i put my box oh it's right here right on my box like so like so bam all i do now is just take it to the uh i just take it to the post office and you can either set it on the counter because it already has the pre-printed like label or you can go to like some post office have the kiosk that you can just like scan your scan the barcode and then put it in the box and that's pretty much it it's super nice it's super simple it looks really nice. It looks really professional. But guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit all the buttons, like, subscribe. Uh, find me on Instagram at the Helicopter Bear. Sometimes I say funny things, sometimes I don't. And guys, remember, hit subscribe. Someone needs to win these. They're, they're like heat on my hand right now. Someone needs to win these. So, till the next video.